हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज तेजल वेलकमिंग ऑल ऑफ यू टू द टू डेज डेली करंट अफेयर अपडेट्स इन इंग्लिश आर फर्स्ट अपडेट इज अबाउट बुक्स द बेस्ट सेलिंग बुक सुपर थर्टी बाई कैनेडियन डॉक्टर बीजू मैथ्यू विल नाउ बी अवेलेबल इन कोरियन एज वेल थैंक्स टू एन अग्रीमेंट साइंट विद सुपर थर्टी फाउंडर विद वेल नोन साउथ कोरियन पब्लिशर द प्लान जी को ऑपरेटिव लिमिटेड दिस विल बी दिक्स लैंग्वेज इन विच सुपर थर्टी विल बी पब्लिश द बुक इज ऑलरेडी अवेलेबल इन फाइव लैंग्वेजेस हिंदी इंग्लिश मराठी गुजराती एंड तमिल क्यूंग एली सी ई ओ ऑफ द पब्लिशिंग हाउस स्टेटेड दैट द बुक वुड बी अ ग्रेट इंस्पिरेशन फॉर स्टूडेंट्स एंड एजुकेशनल प्रोग्राम्स टू एमुलेट सुपर थर्टी नेक्स्ट अपडेट इज अबाउट एन ऑबिचरी के मुरलीधरन अ साउथ इंडियन फिल्म प्रोड्यूसर हैज डाइड अकॉर्डिंग टू रिपोर्ट्स ही डाइड ऑफ अ हार्ट अटैक इन हिज होम टाउन ऑफ कुंभाकोनम तमिलनाडु मुरलीधरन वॉज ऑल्सो द फॉर्मर प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ द तमिल प्रोड्यूसर्स काउंसिल ही को फाउंडेड द प्रोडक्शन कंपनी लक्ष्मी मूवी मेकर्स विद इज पार्टनर्स लेट वी स्वामीनाथन एंड जी वेणुगोपाल एंड द बैंक रोल्ड सेवरल मेजर हिट्स सच एज एम्बे सिवम पधु पेताई एंड बगवाथी Lakshmi Movie Makers has produced commercially successful films starring some of Tamil cinema's biggest stars. Third update is about an agreement. Tamil Nadu Mercantile Bank, a private sector lender, has entered into bank insurance partnership with Chola Mandalam MS General Insurance Company Limited, a subsidiary of the Murugappa Group based in Chennai, and Max Life Insurance Company to provide general insurance products and life insurance companies. schemes to TMB customers TMB's 500 plus branches in Tuticorin in will begin selling both companies insurance products as part of the agreement Krishnan SMD and CEO of TMB stated that customers will soon be able to access both insurance companies products through their bank's app Next update is about an appointment according to a senior official former health secretary Preeti Sudan has been appointed as a member to the Union Public Service Commission that is UPSC Sudan a 1983 batch retired IAS officer of Andhra Pradesh cadre was superannuated as the health secretary in July 2020 Sudan also served in women and child development and defense ministries in her cadre state Andhra Pradesh she handled finance and planning disaster management tourism and agriculture Sudan was also consultant with the World Bank the UPSC is headed by chairperson and can have a maximum of 10 members fifth update it is about science and technology the world's first intranasal covid vaccine in covax developed by india has been approved by the central drugs standard control organization for limited use in emergency situations in people aged 18 and up union minister dr jitendra singh made the announcement The minister praised the Department of Biotechnology that is DBG and its PSU Biotechnology Industry Research Assistance Bureau for assisting Bharat Biotech International Limited that is BBIL in developing the world's first intranasal vaccine for COVID. Sixth update is about an international event the united nations has issued a report recommending that the great barrier reef be designated as endangered the report followed a 10 day mission to the world famous reef of the coast of australia in march the great barrier reef is the world's largest reef ecosystem and a unesco world heritage site located off the coast of queensland australia officials from the united nations cultural organization and the international union for conservation of nature warned that the world's largest coral reef is in danger unless ambitious rapid and sustained climate action is taken next update is about an economic event the himalayan yak has been approved as a food animal by the food safety and standard authority of india that is fssai the move is expected to help slow the population decline of the high altitude bovine animal by incorporating it into the conventional milk and meat industries according to an official at the national research center that is nrc on yak in dirang west coming district arunachal pradesh food animals are those that are raised for food production or human consumption the nrc yak had submitted a proposal to the fssi in 2021 to consider the yak as a food animal 
Next update is about defense. Faced with the threat of drones from across the Himalayas, the Indian Army has trained kites and dogs to prey on enemy drones as a team. Though multiple automated drone kill options are being tried out, the kite-dog combination has the capability to tackle the minas of drones coming from across the border into Punjab and Jammu Kashmir. Several cases have been reported where drones coming from Pakistani side have dropped consignments of drugs, guns and money in JNK and Punjab. Next update is about rank and report. Knight Frank, a property consultancy based in London, has ranked Mumbai 22nd in a global index that measures the annual price appreciation of premium residential properties. According to Knight Frank's Prime Global Cities Index Q3, that is July to September 2022, Mumbai, Bangladesh and New Delhi, all three Indian cities, saw an increase in average annual prices in the third quarter of 2022. The Prime Global Cities Index is a valuation-based index that tracks the movement of prime residential prices in local currency in 45-plus cities around the world. Next and last update is miscellaneous. The state of Uttarakhand has appointed Prasun Soshi, CEO and CCO of McCann World Group India as its brand ambassador. According to media reports, the state administration has authorized the Director General of Culture to enter into a memorandum of understanding in this regard with Zoshi. Zoshi is a native of Uttarakhand. He was bestowed with Uttarakhand Gaurav Samman. In addition, he serves as the chairman of the Central Board of Film Certification. He was also a key architect of the 2014 national election campaign. Dear friends, this was our daily current affairs updates in English. Stay tuned for more such updates. Thank you so much.